When you're absolutely happy with uh, the ergo mouse and whether you've got any final adjustments to do, then uh, you know maybe a little bit more glue, or you filled in a little uh, few gaps with a little bit of excess styrofoam. Um, and again, obviously keep testing it to make sure none of your adjustments have done, as this really is pretty much the last time you'll be able to break it open again. So now we'll look at the, the first filler surface, which I'd recommend uh, to use a water-based uh, thing like polyfiller or spackle, I think it is in the States, and uh, basically just begin layering this up. And um, as shown in earlier tutorials uh, about working with this and foam, and uh, basically I'll return when all of this has been covered, and uh, then you can leave it at quite a rough texture like this and it means that you'll be able to basically sand it back smooth later on but it's a good idea to have a reasonable thickness so that you can sand it back without going all the way through. The reason being for that is that you're then going to add a solvent based filler which is the second filler so if it does see any of the blue it's going to eat into it so that's something to be aware of. A few little thin bits is fine but you don't want big patches of blue.